Hello and welcome to a new series on using the Google Cloud platform for bioinformatics. I'm Lynn Langett. I'm a cloud architect and developer and I've been working with bioinformatics groups for the last few years and helping them to leverage the public cloud, GCP and other clouds, so that they could perform their research at scale. And uh, what I decided to do is make some resources for researchers who are getting started. In this particular series, I'm going to focus on GCP, and I'm going to be uh, using GCP services, which I think will be the first thing for you to take a look at. However, the concepts I'm going to show you will transfer to other cloud vendors. So there are a couple resources in this series. The first one is a GitHub repository. And what I've basically done is I've arranged the services by uh, usage, starting with setting up your account and going into files and so on. And I built this around a reference architecture, which is a data pipeline. So if you take a look here, here's some of the people I've worked with. And here's the reference architecture. So you can see that you have a client connecting to some uh, dynamic compute cluster, virtual machines or containers, and then you have some input files and you do analysis and get your output and there's some other artifacts. In um, this basically book online, I've started by putting uh, most commonly asked questions here and then I've created a dynamic table of contents which basically mirrors what I have up here. So the way I intend this to work is it goes in the order that you would usually use the services, starting with setting up your account. And in each section, there's a readme. So you can see it covers parts of the reference architecture. And then there's one page for each of the key service areas. So in each page, I will also embed a really short screencast showing you uh, using the GCP console how to set up the service or perform the activity from a basic level. Now again, this series is designed for people who are new to cloud. I have links at the end of each page with more uh, extensive resources. Also, uh, I've done some other general purpose courses uh, for LinkedIn Learning, lynda.com, around the Google Cloud Platform that includes scripting and integration with um, programming languages. Again, this series is different in that I'm going to use all bioinformatics examples and really focus on the concepts uh, in the cloud because I have found in working with researchers that uh, they're focused on their research and they just need the services to get the job done. So again, I've organized this by the way I see people using the services, setting up the account, and there'll be one screencast per page that I'll embed. So if you just want to watch screencasts, you can just watch all those. I'll make them as a YouTube playlist as well. Um, and then I have files and data, virtual machines and Docker containers, machine learning, uh, code, and cloud service tools, serverless compute with functions, and then I've got some scripts here. I really welcome community contributions from um, bioinformatics researchers who are working with the GCP cloud. So you can just you know, do pull requests here in GitHub to make suggestions about um, examples of how you've used GCP services in your research. And um, I've also included a, a Gitter uh, chat. So if you want to join the Gitter chat to talk either with me uh, or other people who might be using this repository. Um, I really want to you know, help generate this community of researchers who are using GCP for their research.